Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, only the earth will come to our rescue. Western Armenia and the Constitutional Court of the Republic of Armenia. A century after 1915, Armenians are facing a cultural genocide again. Armenia is still grieving. Member of Parliament of Western Armenia, Guillermo Karamanian, has made a speech on the radio of Argentina. The map of the Armenian scriptoria of Western Armenia and Cilicia. Armenian woman sings in Armenian in US Senate. Let's support Western Armenia TV. Diary of a deportee of the genocide against Armenians, Serpuhi Hovagyan. Forgotten for decades in an attic before joining the collections of the BNF, Serpuhi Hovagyan's diary is one of the few known testimonies of a victim written during the genocide against Armenians. The present critical edition of the account plunges us into one of the darkest periods of the 20th century. We were walking aimlessly, six hours a day, without eating or drinking. Walk, walk on the road until you finish with your life. On October 25, 1915, a 22-year-old young Armenian woman, escaped from a convoy of deportees, arrives in the port of Giresun on the Black Sea in dramatic conditions. The genocide organized by the Young Turks of the Ottoman Empire against the Armenians has been raging since April. Like many, Serpuy Hovagyan was forced to abandon her four-year-old son along the way and to hide for several years, at the cost of frequent changes of residence. During the hiding, she used a notebook to write down with more or less regularity her experience and the events kept in Armenian, then in French, with some passages in Greek. She recounts her journey through Armenia, from her deportation from Trebzon, where she lived with her family in June 1915. Senior Turkish official says U.S. recognition of the genocide against Armenians would sabotage reconciliation efforts with Yerevan after Artsakh war. Turkey has warned the United States that recognizing the mass killing of Armenians in the Ottoman Empire as genocide may have ramifications, saying that the move could impede possible reconciliation efforts with Armenia. Several U.S. newspapers reported earlier on Thursday that U.S. President Joe Biden would reveal the symbolic designation on Saturday, the 106th anniversary of the beginning of the killings, becoming the first American president to do so. Biden has yet to hold any phone call with his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The full article is available on our website. Armen Press News Agency has published an article entitled A Century After 1915. Armenians are facing a cultural genocide again, where the anti-Armenian policy by Turkey and Azerbaijan is presented. This year, the Armenian people commemorate the loss of 1.5 million victims and their homeland in such conditions as it seemed to have taken them back to the post-genocide period, when Turkey began to commit the cultural genocide of the Armenian people. The history seems to be repeating after the war unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh, supported by Turkey. As a result of the war, Azerbaijan destroys and desecrates the Armenian culture and historical heritage in the territories under its control. The full article is available on our website. The foreign policy correspondent Nail Horror has published an extensive article on the genocide against Armenians, the Second Artsakh War, the Sumgait Massacre, the Spitak earthquake and other related topics. There is no summit as wide as Ararat wrote the Armenian poet Yagashe Charens in his 1915 work Blue-Eyed Homeland, about the twin-picked mountain that is the national symbol of all Armenia. On a clear day in Yerevan, Arad dominates the landscape, towering over the pink stone buildings and broad avenues of the Armenian capital. But Ararat is not close, it is impossibly far away, across the long-closed border with Turkey, in the land known to Armenians as Western Armenia. There are no Armenians left there, at least openly. The national symbol of Armenia, the touchstone for the identity of an entire people, is over a hostile neighbor's border. The constant reminder of what was lost is, however, just one of many losses that have imprinted themselves on Armenia. It was not Armenia's first loss. The genocide against Armenians of 1915 was not an accident. It was a carefully planned sequence of events designed by the Ottoman Empire's Young Turks, revolutionary government, to quell the threat of a population perceived as disloyal. Well over a million Armenian men, women and children were rounded up in their villages and towns, forced into pathetic columns and driven towards the Syrian desert to die. 
The full article is available on our website. Member of the Parliament of Western Armenia, Council of Western Armenia in Argentina, Guillermo Caramanian, made a speech on the state radio of Argentina. During his speech, Caramanian spoke about the genocide committed against Armenians, Western Armenia, and about the things that should be done about its present and future. Guillermo Caramanian's speech received a great response in the countries of South America. You can read the speech and listen to Spanish recording on the website under the following link. The medieval manuscript book has a special importance in the entire Armenian historical and cultural legacy. It is not only significant for its rich contents, but also valuable as a piece of art with the material on which it is written, its calligraphy, miniature painting, pneumography, as well as reliable document which colophons speak about the place where it was written, people having created it, time of writing, and many other events. In this regard, any manuscript book is an original cultural creation. The aim of the Armenian Scriptoria of Western Armenia and Cilicia project was to carry out an exhaustive investigation and to show on the map drawn in its bases the Scriptoria of Western Armenia and Cilician Armenia, as well as the richest legacy of Armenian art of manuscript books which were created in these centers. One must mention that Armenian monasteries and other monuments of material culture on these territories were mostly destroyed during the genocide against Armenians of 1915 and for diverse reasons, and the manuscripts written there are the only witnesses of their existence. Consequently, the present investigation is an attempt to save from oblivion a stratus of world civilization legacy, and this opportunity is given precisely by the study of Armenian manuscripts from the viewpoint of their writing area. The full article is available on our website. Armenian woman sings in Armenian in U.S. Senate, receiving constant applause. Deported Armenians around the world felt the need for unity after the commemoration of the genocide against Armenians more than ever. True to its mission, Western Armenia TV continues to be the link that maintains the connection between deported Armenians. The state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in self-promotion, but expects your active support for our common programs and goals. Western Armenia TV is the connecting link between self-knowledge and patriotism. Together we can do more. Now I present you a song by an Armenian woman singing in Senate. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.